Meet NASA Lynx. He's a photographer, a wildlife adventurer, a grateful harvester of Mother Earth, and a legendary spear fisherman. He explores the ocean where he encounters some of Jamaica's most vicious predators while he captures breathtaking underwater footages and forages for food in order to survive. He cooks up a storm and produces mouth watering dishes that will make you lick your finger. Welcome to Original Living with Nasa Lynx. Coming up in this dive, we caught two barracudas and a few jack and my first Rainbow mackerel. It was about 6.30 in the morning and we head out on our favorite spearfishing adventure. This spot is one of our regular spots, but this time we took a different approach to reach down by the seaside. We went down a few steps that was carving the rock face to gain entrance down to the sea. When we arrived down by the seaside, the sea was flat. The wind was low, but the sky was a little overcast. So we get the rest of the gears together, and as usual, we don't have any target species. It's mainly snappers, jocks, barracudas, mackerels, and any other else good eating fish. And where we're heading, there's a lot of open water fish there, so I build a homemade flasher. This one made out of CDs, I had four CDs and some fishing lines so hopefully this can attract something So all the gears is on and we head into the water and as usual in the shallow here the water is clean So we set the spear guns and head off. So in the meantime you guys, just take this moment, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever we upload a new video. So on the way out, I saw two jocks and showed them to Canada. But he saw them late and they swim away from him. <laughs> so we continue on to the deep. Here we reach our destination and I let out the flashers. So these are our first guests. A few jacks, a green jack one. So here I made a random dive just to warm up my lungs. And the water visibility wasn't that good. The water was very murky. So here is my first fish. A rainbow runner. It was two of them traveling and a spear one. I was calling Kenado to see if we could get one as well but he hear me a little late Here I saw a barracuda. He 
went up underneath a rock just below me. So I head down. And this is about 35 feet. Here he is. Get that one a headshot there. You can see he's running up and down on the spear. Canada came down to finish it off. So that's the second fish on the string. This one was the right size one, it wasn't too small and it wasn't too big. And we always try to get everything back together quickly whenever we're in blue waters. Those are the parasites that indicate that it is good. A little more info at the end of the video. So you can add a shoot after something and his spear gets stuck in a rock. So he went down there to retrieve his spear. So here I saw some yellow tail snapper and a real nice special parrot fish. So I went down halfway and I was wondering which one should I go after. But in the end they both swim away and I lose the chance with the two fish. That was a snapper that one head after the deep as well. So here 
I saw a little barracuda. So I head down. Line it up, the Tixi crack. Took the shot. But somehow I miss. Don't know how. But the barracuda does swim off and stop. And he came in back close to me. So I was trying to reset the spear gun quickly to get a second shot. All this time the barracuda was right there looking at me So I'm wrapping this shooting line as fast as I could Barracuda head down back a little bit deeper. So I make the second drop on it. This time it start to swim away. It just swim away from me. I didn't took the shot. I just left it. Swim off a little bit more. Saw so next little one. This one gives no chance. Just head to the deep. It's a near shark on the bottom there, heading towards the deep. We have been in the water for quite some time, so while I was heading out, I came across a school of jocks and I ended up spear one of the jocks out of the school. Back in the shallow now, that's a file fish trying to get away from me. So, this is the end of this dive. I'm out of the water, you know. I'm on, come out of the water, and um, Kenado, I come, I'm out here, so I come see me. We're reaching because the current out there is strong, and I'm tired like what? Tired, tired. The, 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 the sea flat, see me? Flat, flat. But only throw up up on the outside, the, deep, the deeper side. The, 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 the muddy, murky, murky, murky. And my mouth inside clean. And man, the sea flat and the sun is out, see me, you know? So, this one I come in with. So, a nice jack, a barracuda, and a, what I call this now? A rainbow run harwa. Or a salmon, and I tie two. Yeah, man. Good catches, you know? Nice catches, man. So, now we'll go and clean them up and wait till Canada come in. Now we the barracuda, because a little one and um, a few days ago, we catch one little one same way. The other one look like about the same size or a little bit bigger. The last one was four and a half. So, I'm going to check the little one and see. 
how much pound this one here because I like to document down the barracuda the barracuda you know. so you can know when man you know when and where it caught him you know and the weird the weird one here you know. yes so this is a little bar away scale zero Poor pawn, poor pawn. Poor pawn. Poor pawn. One pawn, uh, one and a half pawn less than the, 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 the small one out of the previous spear fishing video. Yeah, man. One and a half pawn less. So. I'm going to go and clean up this one here now and clean out of the pan and move here I want to see where I have pan and string I know I have some jack pan and string but I'm not sure what else I have so I'm going to go and clean up the barracuda and wait Man, so you can have a catch you now. What is this? It's a bar bigger than the one I'm looking for. Mm, two more bar again. You know? yeah, man, I want a little jacking coming in with you. Know? And these 10 catch are the oh, they be nice, you know? Yes, man. Lovely bar. Uh, uh, side lick again, body lick again. You know, see my grammy. I like I like in the day. I need a national over there. I watch him. See my 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 you know, I'm sorry I need to shoot this boy. Oh, I need to them and I smile this one. I get to shoot now. I'm going to see all the mountain snapper. And I'm um, back on a rock and you know, see me now. I'm going to bam if you go dive down. You know, say chat line tangle me up. Tangle up the wall of me. I say, yo. Yes, guys. So, we are going to wait a barrier at you know. Anytime, you know, after I'm done, take him off and clean up quick, you know. So, I'm going to go and clean up, see him and then. We had a barrel and see a barrel look like him go about 10 pounds. That me I say. Yeah, man. So you do one deal with that. Yes, so we have a weird big one you know. So get out of not the one, you know. Let's see what that one is. What the last one you do? Level one city. Almost almost ten eleven pounds, almost eleven pounds. You did say ten. It's so, uh eight and a uh, half. Yeah. They're almost big as you see them Almost big as you see them here, Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, hold on. Zoom in a little. Come in close. Alright. Guys, that's sitting here we take for Mark when they good though. 
them parasites or them red thing upon them. So one thing we live upon them and maybe feed off of them. Because as you can look, you can see the line where them left. So him feed him feed off of the barracuda. Anything with the barracuda. So I guess when the barracuda poison, they won't be on the barracuda. Yeah man, now we, we rest it down and then you guys can you guys can see a lot of fly on it. Yeah man, see so fly them around there. Yeah man, so that is our next sign again. Yeah, man. It can poison still enough, but I guess the chant is very low so yeah. We are gonna finish clean up here now and then, you know? Yeah, do. I'm gonna want to do a cook up here now. I'm gonna cook this. That, that, that. What would I would call this, you know? Um, the salmon or blue run. Blue water fish, you man. Know? Deep water fish. Who are they? Sorry, Kenya, they got to get 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 to cook this, you know? Stay tuned to cook up this. We'll finish clean up here. Yeah. Yes, so we finished with everything and we clean up and eat with the fish and um, this is how them look. And, um, similar to the previous fishing video. Yeah, so we are going to do one now. We shall jack. We are going to do one now and um, the, 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 the blue runner or the salmon. A rainbow mackerel, a whole different name people call them. I'm going to do a cook up on it further on in the evening for my dinner. So stay tuned to the channel for that, alright? So we're waiting for them, right? Yes, so I'm home now. And this is what I cut out of the fishes. I'm going to rest this barracuda head with the next head while some soup one of the day the two of them and um so the jack yeah and that this are the other fish so this is the fish I miss them want to cook because catch them all the while we go deep sea fishing we catch them all the while but not this size though some larger one probably um, maybe 15 pound 20 pound size but me never heat none, me never prepare none. So it's gonna be my first time eating one of these fish. Yeah man, so the idea is we're gonna light up the coal, the jerk pan, and we're gonna jerk them. Yeah man. Um no jerk yeah, we're gonna jerk this fish and probably two pieces of the barracuda with it. And leave the other for the next time, you know? So we're gonna catch up the fire now and start the process so the piece of barra and the fish why only one piece of barra the fish are a good size you know so we don't want them one this so why not this season you know why? so we have some brown pepper real hot some ginger and we have some garlic we have some ordinary seasoning some of the original seasoning and some ketchup we we'll beat the beat out the ginger and the pepper and the thyme and the garlic mash it out in the original african style we we'll then beat the seasoning and the herbs and then we we'll season it with we'll season the fish mm. well, me i go catch it cool you know you don't know anything but fire take time and light you know yes man Make it ketchup and then you don't know anything go other than the grill to it. And we have the fish after. Up next, grill. Mm. Drop on the fish, you know, you know. And you grill just like that. a barrel of a car yeah 
man looking good, you know. So we are cover it up, you know, and make them go and draw a coat. Huh? So we will get this uh, first turn, you know. Some sauce, so the fish them, you know. So we take the fish off of the grill itself because, huh? As I see the fish on a skin pan, it's real bad. The grill take off it cool. So, but you know, do that to the barracuda, do so. And the grill, and the fish itself. At first, I say I go eat the fish and at first we all look about it and the way we choose to do is a very special way so if you probably go steam the fish I don't know if you tell you if you go fry I don't know if you tell you but if you go jerk I can't tell you so your skin will come off yeah man so we just go eat a few more minutes because you know we start pick pick it already and it tastes good I eat this you now you know Get it out now. Mm. Real good. Fish and fry dumpling now. You know, you know the thing set. Fish and festival. Yes, man. So we have a sewer going now. Yes, guys. So see it. Look here. Yeah, man. We catch up on a neat day. day, day. Fish, I say, you know, and then you put juice on the side, don't know anything set. Mm. And then you need to the fish in again, you know, catch and cook style. So, you don't know anything going on, guys. And if you haven't already, please consider to subscribe to the channel. Yeah, man, and, uh, do catch you in the next one, alright?